I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 280, where I'm going to show you how to use the select like function with a real world example. I think it was episode 220 that I showed you select like. It was a new function that came out, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago in Quantrix. And I think it's absolutely fantastic because the other day I had to use it. I actually had to channel myself. And when I say I had to channel myself, I actually had to go to my YouTube channel and I had to do a search for select like and it brought up episode 220 and then I thought, oh, that's how you do select like. That's how you use it. And I was able to use it and it was awesome and I wanted to share with you how I employed the select like function. I have here a model. It has a list of, we'll call these employees, and associated with these employees is some sort of account number. And what I would like to do is I would like to assign a location of these employees based off of some number that is entered into this matrix that's associated with location. So I have locations here, and then I say, well, if the number is a two, then it is location of delta. If it's a location of three, then it is Zaporozhia. But if it is any of these numbers listed here, then it is Oak City. And the number that I would like to compare is this number right here found in this column. So in order for this to work and to bring it back correctly, I couldn't do like a select or whatever, a traditional select or a select S because this is this has too many characters in it and I want to evaluate each one of these against you know a list that could be varying you know this could be seven that could be two it could be three it could be eight it could be zero so how can i do this in quantrix modeler well you don't have to look very far you can simply use the select like function so what i did is i said hw location is equal to select like uh, let me spell that correctly select like and I say, well, what do I want to return? I actually want to return my location here of Oak City, Delta, or Zaporozhia. And what is my key list? My key list is going to be this place where I input the values. And then what is the lookup pattern that I would like to look up? Well, the pattern I would like to look up is this right here. But in order for it to be kind of a wildcard pattern, I need to add some wildcard characters. And the reason why it needs to be wildcard is because this seven isn't, there's more than just one value entered into this cell here. So I need to say, you know, look for everything that's like a seven or look for everything that's like a four. And how I do that is I simply go out and I concatenate on my formula and I say left and I do a double quote, asterisk double quote for a wildcard. And then I'm going to append also another wild card to the end. And when I do that with my select like, you can see that indeed Oak City appears when I have it as a seven, when my element is a seven here. If I scroll down through my list, a three brings me back Zaporozhia, a two brings me back Delta as I would expect. And let's see if we can find any more of these, like a, a one would bring me back Oak City. I believe a zero would also bring me back Oak City if I could find a zero in my data set here. Ah, oh, there we go at the very bottom, Oak City. And then of course, I guess a blank would bring me back Oak City as well. That's something I would then have to kind of debug and say, well, if this is blank, then go ahead and make it blank. Otherwise, go ahead and use this select like. So that is how you use select like. Uh, you, If you want to have some, I guess, fuzzy lookup logic within it, you can go ahead and use the asterisk concatenated to, for your lookup pattern, and it works just beautifully. Anyway, I absolutely love Quantrix. You can do some amazing things in Quantrix, especially with the select function. It is the function that rules all other functions in Quantrix Modeler. If you have any questions about select like, select, you know, anything in Quantrix, 
Oak City or Zaporozhia, of course, you can always reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I really do want to make you a Quantrix master, and I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master.